What's going on Port fans, welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a trade update halfway through this trade period. It ends next Wednesday with the deadline at 7pm. At the moment it's currently day 5 and a lot of trades have been done for other clubs but we're looking at specifically Port Adelaide today and to see exactly what we're doing from here on. We obviously acquired Jeremy Finlayson from GWS a couple of days ago and um, a lot of positive feedback for that one, a lot of question marks as well over his acquisition. But regardless, we're looking at a few more options that could come Port Adelaide's way, and it's to do with the Hawthorne Football Club. So let's get straight into it. I'll give you a trade update and to see exactly who Port are still targeting. So some of you might have seen a few rumors about Hawthorne and Sam Mitchell going through the list, giving a few cuts and a few get out of me club type uh, vibes. And obviously as well with Jeff Kennett sending out an email to all fans about some decisions that some people, fans, um, and you know, investors in the club that might not be fully satisfied with the direction that they're looking to go um, this off season, pre preparing for the future with Sam Mitchell. It was a new look Hawthorne outfit and a new attitude coming their way. And they're obviously looking to unload a few players. And these particularly are the players that are over the age of 27, 28, Tom Mitchell has been thrown out as a name. A possible acquisition could come Port's way. Chad Wingard could return to the club. Or the one that is hot off the press and a lot of people seem to like the most. Jagger O'Meara has been linked to Port Adelaide um, in recent hours, let alone days that Tom Mitchell has been. I don't see Tom Mitchell coming to the club. He's been um, pretty similar in terms of how Ollie Wines works and having a Brownlow medals of our own, I don't think Tom Mitchell would work in our midfield. Chad Wingard coming back to the club, don't see it happening. I don't think um, I'd want him at the club anyway, and I think that bridge has been burnt um, a while back now, and I don't think too many fans would be too happy to see him. Um, anyway, I think a few would be, but I don't think he will bring much to the club regardless. But Jago Mir is an interesting one. Now, he's 27 years of, old, uh, years of age. He's, he's a prime midfielder, had a great season in 2021, played 18 matches. And he's possibly a player that we could utilize in our midfield. Being 27, he's in his prime. He's similar to Ollie Wines. He's played 122 games, kicked 61 goals in his career, spamming from 2013 uh, to now. And he's obviously played at the Gold Coast. He's played at Hawthorne. Been pretty successful at Hawthorne since um, arriving there in 2017. But the only thing that does worry me and does worry a lot of people is his body. Can his body stack up in a season? He's in his prime. You don't want to be wasting your talent. And Jago Amir has been one of the most talented prospects for a long time. But he's now in that age bracket where you're expecting some results. And this is where I think Port Adelaide's interest is... I'm, I'm pretty happy to see that they are interested because um, I, I feel like he could bring something to the club. You know, he's a big body. But he's also a mover. He can use the ball really well. And he can hit the scoreboard. And that's something a midfielder that we've probably looked at and needed. And it does spell a little bit of bye-bye Sam Powell Pepper. Bye-bye Pete Laddams to get this deal done. But I don't think there'll be too many people dissatisfied with that. And I know a lot of people have favourites uh, with Sam Powell Pepper. And I've said in a previous video that we shouldn't trade him. And should be an option. And could be someone that we could use. He's a lot younger than Jago Amira. And um, you know, it could play a similar role. And that's where I think looking at that could be um, the decision that we make in the end. And Pete Laddams, I think that deal's going to get done. I think he's going to go to Sydney, whether it's on the last day or not. Baffles me as well that Sydney have come out and said he'll basically be the second ruck. And that's what he is at Port Adelaide anyway, until Tom Hickey moves on. He's that link between uh, their young gun, uh, who escapes me with his name, but... They've got a young Ruckman in the works. They've got Tom Hickey, who's 31, playing some great football. You're going to go to another club and play the same role after saying with your options that you're wanting to play as the number one Ruck. I don't understand that. I don't see the deal. I think Lysette's definitely someone else that uh, eventually will drop off and Pete Laddams will be there to jump at the opportunity. I think Laddams is just a bit impatient right now and that's, that's what's baffling me. But I think that deal with Sydney will get done. Um, I hope they'll give us uh, you know, a, a, a late first, early second round pick, maybe a couple of future seconds and future thirds to go with it or something. Um, I don't rate the deal as highly as some other people are saying with the first round pick. I know they're a, a tough um, acquisition to get, is young Ruckman with a, a forward status and uh, heavily talented, but 
I think that's Port's decision. And I think, you know, you shouldn't be letting someone like that go. And if you are letting someone like that go, then why ask a heavy price in return? I just don't... Still getting my head around how trades work and, and stuff like that. Uh, it's never something I've really um, thought about. But, you know, it's... It, it's fascinating to see how this trade period will pan out. A lot of clubs are going to have to be uh, linked and a lot of clubs have to work together to get these deals done. And, you know, Laddams to Sydney could involve a third club, um, Sam Pau Pepper to West Coast. I think more unlikely than likely at this stage, but could be something to look out for. And if he does, I think a second round pick there would be more than sufficient. And then you come to Jagger O'Meara, who now I believe uh, is just, we're just assessing our options at the moment. We're interested, haven't put a formal request in, but I think if we can get a few, you know, a, f a, a bigger deal built enough to send Hawthorne's way, got to remember as well, Hawthorne can't play hard to get here. They cannot play hard to get. They're wanting to unload these players for picks. So if they can get, you know, a second, a f a first or a third, a first and a third or a second and a third pick for Jago Amira, they'll be taking it. They're going to be pretty easily easy to deal with with these acquisitions and and these players they're trying to unload. So more than interesting this time of the trade period, and a lot will pan out over the next five days. I'm keen to see what else happens, but Jago Amira could be a big a big play, and I'd be happy to uh, welcome him to the club. But I want to know what you're thinking, Port fans, because it's a fascinating one, because it kind of contradicts getting rid of Sam Power Pepper, because I do feel like they can play similar roles. Um, but in saying that, I do believe he would be a great get for Port and would really complement the likes of Boak Wines, help out Willem Drew, um, and get Rosie and Butters involved in the midfield as well. And that could be a dynamic midfield and, and, and keeping us in that prime stage. And At the end of the day, Laddams and Power Pepper are fringe players. Jago Mira is a ready-set midfielder in his prime and fit would be a damaging footballer so it'd be interesting to see look out for the next few days and i'll keep you posted keep you updated on all the social medias twitter especially that's where i'm loving all the conversations at the moment uh, about the trade period but let me know your thoughts in the comments below it's going to be a very interesting last few days of the trade period and i look forward to seeing what pans out thank you for watching this trade update of the afl trade period Jago Mira, an interesting prospect. Let me know what you're thinking below, Port fans. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port and AFL content coming your way. And I look forward to seeing what you have to say. My name is Anthony. Thank you for watching. And as always, count the pair.